I was asked a question, and what's the difference between the field of feelings process I teach and the observer process I teach, or what, what's the difference? Well, the difference is with um, feeling the feelings. So it's just to, um, you could sit down, you can close your eyes if you like, and be, you become aware if there's any feelings. Is there any tension in the body, any fear, any emotions, any aches or pains? Become aware and just be with those. Um, uh, allow those to be fully in awareness and just sort of go into them and resonate with them. And every time you want to go into your, a thought about it or a, think, uh, a thought, just drop the thought and just be with any feeling without going into thoughts. Even if you think there's unconscious thoughts, just drop it and just try and resonate and, and experience any feelings or tensions that are here. And then you'll get to a place where you're able to drop thoughts quite easily and you're almost like resonating with the feelings and they're starting to uh, release. And then you might go into a, a quite beautiful uh, spiritual space as all of that stuff is released and you're not, um, you release the addiction to any thought. So that's the field of feelings, but the observer is being aware and practicing that a thought is an object or a cloud and that there can be a witnessing of that. So you don't have to be hooked into the cloud. You can be the space behind it or the witnesser behind it and just being solid in the witnesser and, and not picking up the thoughts or if there's feelings, realizing that feelings are also like clouds and then getting the experience of an observer or witnesser of those and then detachment from the feelings and thoughts or whatever it is and the body or time or space or location, being in the witness of all of those, making those realizations, not hooking back into that and being more and more solid in this witnessing uh, that's always here and doesn't have to hook into thoughts, feelings, time, space, location, any kind of external data or content. So that's the um, observing. So the, what's the, and the difference then, so one is more like recognizing that everything that passes is actually a cloud and, and then making the um, spiritual realization that there's a witnesser here, that's none of that. And then getting more and more solid and stable in this witnessing and not picking up the thoughts, feelings, or other things that one can identify within the world. And the field of feelings is more like dropping thoughts and just resonating with any feelings. And then almost like allowing them to be experienced until they pass away well, and not picking up the thoughts until one gets into this infinite space or the presence or the holy beingness or the holy instant. Now, as you beca become, if you do, both of the practices which I teach on a regular basis, you'll be able to intuitively switch between the two of them or even combine them both in, uh, in life or in practice periods. And that will intuitively happen. Um, so, yep, so that's the difference, this video, the difference between feel the feelings and the observer.